spot. Dang. Try and never last trouble on the side. You go, nice fish, man. Not up to me, not up to you. And a half, and didn't even get touched. Oh, there's one. He's tiny, but guys, <laughs> tiny bass. But look at that. Ate that mouse wake bait. It runs so good guys out of Maryland FOF uh, fishing yeah follow him on Instagram but a little mouse wake bait dink to start the morning there's one Or don't. All right. We messed around with the top water just for a little while, but I put on the Black Magic Crush 25. Angel already caught one about this size earlier too, so we are we got three in the boat so far. They might be pretty scattered today, guys. We'll see. There's one. Just had to come up to where the rocks were. Angel just caught a pretty decent one. That one's pretty good too. Throwing that Black Magic Crush 25. Got it on a Dobbin 700C and a Cast King Zephyr with six pound floor today. That 700 is a really smooth crankbait rod. Rainy, rainy, rainy. Oh. It's a spot, red-eyed guy. Spotted bass. Chunky little spot. Got one, guys. <laughs> Got a spot. That's the first fish in a while, guys. Spotted bass by the culvert. There's one. There's one in the culvert. It's real small. on that Guggen. Alright. There's some hope. Angel got two in a row there. The rain is picking up though, unfortunately. There's one. That's about the size of the ones we've been catching. And by we, I caught like three about this size. Angel's caught like four. He's got a little rattle in his crankbait. And I don't, so I'm just gonna throw the black and blue chatterbait. The black and blue cross style baits typically get big bites here, so I'm just gonna roll with that the rest of the, the, rest of the morning, I think. 
especially since it's raining so hard. Oh dang, not bad. Not a better ball. Oh. They're lifting. <laughs> they were just scattered everywhere, guys. That's a decent one, though. Got some, so warm. got some shoulders on them. The water tent's definitely warmer than the air now, for sure, too. That's cool. God, crushed it. Now I switched it up. Went to a sneaky spin. Like a drop minute. Don't catch a lot of crappie on the Trinity, guys. There's another one. That's a nice bass. Going nuts. Is that a spot? Dang! It's a big spot for here, isn't it? Look at that. See how much shoulder he's got on him? Sneaky spin. Maybe we can start putting some numbers in the boat. The old sneaky Great Lakes finesse guy. 316 pounds with the gold blade. There's probably water all over the lenses, guys, but I can't do much. It's not easy to film yourself in the rain, man. You got one? You got a good one? You got another nice spot. Heck yeah. Look at that. Angel. Angel just caught another fat spotted bass on his little crankbait. <laughs> Look at the belly on that thing. Angel's throwing that little Guggen uh, square bill. And that chartreuse tip, for whatever reason, on the Trinity chain of bodies of water, guys, that chartreuse tip kills. And he's got a little rattle in his, which I think is helping him. There's one. Whoa. The, the vacuum. A green sunfish ate a sneaky spin. That is not something I would expect to be able to eat that. But it is kind of big. What'd you get, little bass? Nice. Doubled. <laughs> I catch the OB screen sunfish. It's too steep, they'd never stay. Oh, popped off the rock and got him. Dang it, dude, that was good. There's one. Good one, Angel. I hate it when they go right at you like that. Not bad at all. God, the fish we're catching today are freaking toads. Y'all, there's probably my biggest fish of the day. I'm throwing a white drop minnow. It's two and three quarter inch with the red tip on it. I just had a really nice one uh, kick off at the boat too. I had it snagged on the rock. I popped it off and the fish pummeled it. It's almost like you have to stop it just a little bit or like vary your retrieve. That's what Angel was doing to catch all of his um, fish that he's caught. He's varying his retrieve on his crankbait. We're not just burning it today. And it's weird because you feel like it'd be a day where you could just burn it and they would kill it, but I guess not. Smoky room and a thin blue Switch back. It's 
switch back to the black magic. Got a little dirt. Trying to vary my retrieve a little more, kind of going fast and then slow, fast and then slow. There's one. Huge. I mean, he didn't really act like a bass. Might have been a big catfish or something. Whoa! Get that! Get that! <laughs> oh shit! Angels hooked up. <laughs> nice fish, dude. There you go. Nice fish, man. Yeah, a snub nose. Oh yeah. Angel with the big fish of the day. Is that on a normal size rage crawl or a baby rage crawl? Black and blue baby rage crawl. Yeah. I think that's four or five. Close to four. That's a long, that's, see, that's a big fish. <laughs> By far the biggest bass we've caught today. It worked. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> Good thing you kept fishing. <laughs> well guys, I'm not really sure what to make of that trip, but uh, I felt like I got my butt kicked, but at the same time, I still caught quite a few fish. The fishing wasn't how I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna be able to go down there with a crankbait and just rip them up like I did um, last year on a previous trip around this time. I guess it was a little bit later in the year that last trip, um, but I think the really high water still has them messed up just a little bit because I know we caught a lot of fish guys, but I'm telling you like when it's right there, it is really right. And it still just wasn't quite right. And we were having to cover so much water to to get those bites guys and i think that's why it felt like such a butt kicking because i mean i was on the trolling motor the entire time and um you know we we'd catch two or three fish go an hour and a half without a fish catch one fish go an hour without them and i think i could have definitely caught them better if i would have been better prepared guys i i took like six rods when in reality i should have taken like two or three rods and way more tackle guys because what ended up happening was the sneaky spin was the deal today guys i had two sneaky spins one of them fishing line gone the second one um, I believe I got that clip and y'all saw it. I got smoked and I'm talking it was a huge thump I, And it started going nuts. I Highly doubt it was a bass and I really hope it wasn't a bass because if it was a bass It was way over five pounds, but I don't think it was a bass, but Probably a big catfish or a drum broke off my second sneaky spin But if I would have had um, more underspins I would have went to town on them because I was starting to get on a pretty consistent bite with the underspin and I think that was the deal. But shout out to Angel because he had a really good day guys. I was probably bringing the mood down just a little bit because I was not fishing my best but man he caught quite a few and he caught the big bass of the day. He got one that was pretty much four pounds. It was like three pounds twelve ounces but we'll give him four on that one because it was a really nice bass and uh, caught it on the Texas rig. I had switched over along the tree line and I got one to bite got it to the boat and it got off so he put on a rage craw and not more than five minutes after he did that he ran into that fish so so even though i didn't really crush him today at least somebody in the boat definitely had a really good one and if nothing else guys this six cents blade hoodie it was raining all morning guys it was raining the entire time we were there i am completely dry and i didn't get cold at all this thing it says it's water repellent but it's pretty much waterproof guys and with the big old hood on it this thing comes on all the way and it'll cover over like a big flat bill hat like this so i was completely dry the whole time and warm this thing's going to be clutch in the winter time so it could have been worse i could have been wet cold and missing some fish but at least i stayed dry but if y'all enjoyed this one leave a like for me consider subscribing if you haven't yet guys talk with me in the comments down below if you want to and y'all take her easy We'll catch you on the next one.